Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you feeling this morning? How are you feeling this morning? Good. So you're in for a treat because today we have a huge and diversified group of people. And for the first time, it's not a conversation that we talk among ourselves and then you talk among yourself and then we go back and we've forgotten what was spoken. Today is an engagement series. Short of bringing the engagement ring, we're going to have you with us to share a conversation and perhaps to add in your views. So if you look at the, uh, the, the side wall, uh, we've introduced Slido. And I was figuring out why Sun Hua gets so excited about introducing Slido. Because he used a word in the last uh, event, the power of one, and he said, we should not be operating in silo. Then he decided to add some words, become Slido. So today, we hope that you will have a conversation with us. And without further ado, can we now invite the fearless, the one and only, Mr. Wong Sun Hua, Pata Singapore Chapter Chairman and Vice Chairman Pata Global. Mr. Wong Sun Hua, please. Thank you, Robin. Good morning and welcome to the SG Tourism Leaders Engagement Series. Such a joy to see so many of you here this morning. And thank you all for investing your Tuesday morning with us. You know, for investment, I know you are looking for ROI. And we'll make sure we can deliver that for you. Now, for those of you who came early, you would, uh, you would have uh, enjoyed the wonderful breakfast spread presented by our venue sponsor, One Farrow Hotel. It's always nice to catch up with old friends and make new industry contacts. And you will also be able to take away valuable, actionable insights from the two panel sessions that will follow after this. So all in all, I think it's not a bad deal, isn't it? You are spending your morning here. Now, some of you may not be familiar with Pata. So please allow me to, to share with you what Pata is all about. Just remember Pata, P-A-T-A, -A, right? P-A-T-A -A stands for Party Animals Travelling Around. Yeah. So just remember that, right? Or officially known as the Pacific Asia Travel Association. A global travel association with 800 members all over the world. Now, Pata is unique in that it represents all the travel industry sectors from both the private and public sectors. Pata promotes travel to, from and within the Asia-Pacific region. It acts as a catalyst to help our members do better business. Now, while our members are trying hard to achieve their corporate targets, Pata is the collective voice of the industry, advocating the importance of sustainability, reducing food wastage, eliminating single-use plastic, cautioning the overcrowdedness that could result from lack of capacity management, human resource development, as well as other pressing macro issues. Besides the Pada chapter, we have a Pada chapter in Singapore. Besides the Pada chapter, we've got two student chapters. Some of you may not know this. Two student chapters in Singapore. One in Temasek Poly, because some students from Temasek Poly. Wave, wave, yeah. You see, we always want to involve uh, our younger generation because they are our future. So Temasek Poly, we have a student chapter and a new one, the latest one, in SIT, Singapore Institute of Technology. We also have got representatives from SIT. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Now, in pursuing growth, we must focus on the four Ps. Now, not, not the traditional marketing four Ps that all of you are so familiar with. The four Ps in this case, people, planet, peace and profits. It is our responsibility to leave behind a vibrant and sustainable tourism industry for our future generations. 
Now, for those of you who need to know more about what Pata is all about and what we do, please uh, visit uh, pata.org, right? Uh, no more commercial. Yeah. Now, we live in a VUCA world. Some of you may have uh, heard of this term called VUCA, V-U-C-A. Volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. Speak, speaking of uh, disruptions and new terms, you know, we always have to keep up with all this. Today, we learn this. Tomorrow, there's something new. And just a couple of weeks ago, when I was attending the Expedia Insight Summit, I came across a new term, Generation Alpha. Right? I'm sure some of you have not heard of this new term called Generation Alpha. Now, Generation XYZ, we do know, but Gen Alpha. Zero to nine years old, you must be kidding. Yeah. Zero to nine years old, Generation Alpha. Here we are, still struggling with how to market to millennials. And now, are we going to talk about babysitting? Yeah. So, Gen Alpha born after 2010 and the first generation born entirely in the 21st century 100% digital natives and will reach 2 billion by year 2025 and be the longest living and wealthiest generation so i asked myself is this really the case or is it just simply hype well, next month, I'll be going for a family holiday. I propose we go to Vietnam. But my daughter suggested that we should go to Bali instead because my four-year-old grandson, Caleb, liked it when he was there last year. Now, this is crazy, right? Imagine these young kids they are already influencers without even trying. Okay, you know, let's go Bali then. After all, nowadays, uh, the Akong or grandparents uh, have got no say anyway. Yeah. Now, to make life more complicated, we have the US-China trade war, the Hong Kong unrest, Brexit, and lots of other stuff. Many things can happen in 12 months. So how useful are three or five year business plans when you can't even predict what's going to happen next? The SG Tourism Leaders Engagement Series is a quarterly series and is meant to help you stay current. Face-to-face -face networking like what we have seen this morning will never go out of fashion, especially when we are in the people's business. Continuous learning is the only way not to lag behind. We are very happy and honoured to have TTG Asia Media as our co-presenter for the series. Managing Director Darren Ng says hi from London. Uh, he's attending WTM this week. Special shout out to our partners, particularly to the events team uh, led by Cheryl, Cheryl Tan, and the editorial team of Karen and Singyi for their wonderful partnership. Thank you, Gilbert. Uh, Gilbert, is, is he here? Gilbert is the uh, general manager of uh, One Ferrell Hotel uh, for the wonderful uh, breakfast spread uh, that we had earlier and, and this beautiful ballroom, right? This beautiful venue. Thank you, Gilbert. Now, this year, we have added an additional partner. We have got eight association partners when we did the Singapore uh, Tourism Leaders uh, Forum in March earlier this year. And I'm delighted to announce that uh, we added one more this year, the Singapore River One. Now, Singapore River One, or SRO in short, is a private sector-led partnership charged with the place management of the Singapore River Precinct. Now, the Singapore River Precinct is a very important part of the Singapore history. And uh, they are looking after the interests of popular areas such as Boat Key, 
Clark Key and Robertson Key. Now, thank you, association mem partners and members, for believing in the power of one. Competition is increasingly intense, and unless we work as one, others will take our lunch and even our dinner. Now, the next engagement series uh, will be held sometime in February next year. And if you'd like to join us as partners or sponsors, uh, do let us know. And also, we'd like to hear from you what are the type of topics that you want us to focus on for future events. Together, let us learn, share, and most importantly, enjoy the morning. Thank you, everyone. Now, let us now move to the program proper. We have got two panel sessions lined up for you this morning. Uh, the first one is when global economic headwinds and geopolitics collide with tourism. The second one is the rising tide of experiential travel. Now, let me thank our distinguished panelists for taking time off their very, very busy schedule to come and share their insights with us. Thank you, Andrew Staples uh, of The Economist Corporate Network, Dean Schreiber of Oakwood Asia Pacific, Parin Mehta of Airbnb Trips, and Dan Panner of Trip Advisor Experiences. Now, these are the big guys, the movers and shakers in the industry. And thank you very much uh, for making time to be here with us today. Now, panel discussions cannot succeed without good moderators. And we are very fortunate uh, this morning to have uh, Robin Yap and, and Sing Yi from uh, TTG Asia Media.